Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name's Tanya and I'm addicted to jewelry. I went and picked a little bit yesterday. Um, I've got some really incredible finds right here that I got from um, a thrift store or two. <laughs> and then I went and saw my friend Kim um, and I picked these items from Kim. Uh, I got this. Uh, my friend Kim has, if you're new here, uh, thank you for watching and welcome. Uh, Kim has been a dealer of vintage items. Oh, this is actually signed. Uh, GES 92 right here. Um, it's signed right there. I don't know if you can see that. GES 92. Anyhow, uh, Kim's got several storage units full of vintage items, furniture, lamps, knick-knack, patty wax. Um, uh, she also collects jewelry and has been for 17 years. So uh, I picked some items from her yesterday. She used to sell on eBay. She sells out at the swap meet uh, every weekend and our local swap meet here. I got this cute little box from her vintage super cute with the like almost tortoise shell looking cute little thing um anyhow uh these were some of this stuff as items that she was going to be putting on uh ebay but she she stopped selling on ebay so this is sterling silver here i don't know what's happening oh, okay uh this is a sterling silver chain and as it turned out, I, upon further inspection, I don't think that this little, that's been wired on there. It's not meant to be there, but those little locks are awesome. Um, it's also sterling silver, so I'll have to take this charm off and reattach that with a sterling uh, clasp. Uh, and then she was wearing this, and... I was like, oh, that is cute. She goes, oh, yeah, yeah, that's for sale, too, if you want it. And I was like, oh, yeah, heck, yeah. Uh, Mylar Italy sterling and beautiful Tiffany blue enamel work on there. Really pretty. I've had a few of those in the past. Uh, this is a really cute pair of sterling earrings. They've got little star-type patterns um, cut into the, I guess you could see that. I think, I don't know, this lighting is weird because it's just natural lighting and I'm, yeah, I'm currently sitting outside right now. Um, and, and this may have come from me. I used to individually wrap all my stuff like this and I used to sell to Kim. I've known Kim for about five years and when I first met Kim, uh, it was, I had, uh, I was cleansing and I needed to get rid of all of my old jewelry that my husband had bought me um, because each time I wore it, it reminded me of him and I, there was a connection there and I needed to get rid of it all so she ended up purchasing all of my good jewelry um, all of my sterling and gold or whatever I had she bought it all her husband Howard he's also a wheeler dealer out at the swap meet he purchased all of my little knickknacks that I had a connection to that I needed to let go of all of that. This is Sarah Coventry. Anyhow, that's how I met Kim. And she bought for from me for years and now I'm buying back from her. <laughs> um, it's funny how many items I've actually bought back from her that, that were mine originally. Uh, this is Weiss vintage Weiss. I'm not sure if you're seeing those colors. It's blues and greens. Maybe I should, hang on, maybe I should do this. Okay, I just moved up a few inches so you could see the colors perhaps and the shininess. I don't know. Is that better? I can't tell the way the screen is. Um, again, vintage Weiss. Clip-on earrings and brooch set. This is awesome. Uh, he's got a green eye and it's a brooch. It's unsigned, but it's fabulous. I think he is pretty amazing. 
We've got this beautiful brooch. A lot of these need to be cleaned. Uh, I, this one is very dusty, I can see, uh, so it's not going to sparkle like it should. And this is another beautiful brooch. Oh, look at that. <laughs> My phone is, or the screen, it's just got all these sparkles shooting off of it, or shooting onto it, I should say. Uh, this little kitty was super cute. He's missing two AB stones, but I've got them, so I went ahead and got him. Uh, this is another beauty here. I, I don't know. Some of these are signed. Some of them are not, but I'm just showing you what I picked up because I'm real excited to get to uh, the things that I purchased yesterday at the thrift store. Or two. I went to two of my honey holes. My secret honey holes. I don't I don't share uh, because I don't I can't give out all my secrets. There are locals who watch and I don't want them knowing where I get some of my goodies. <laughs> Cause then I wouldn't be able to find them. They're gonna go get them, right? Uh, this is beautiful. This is glass. Um, it's got a vintage clasp. And it's all glass, really nicely done. Beautiful, like, the colors are so pretty. And these beads are amazing. They've got, like, their greens inside of the orange glass. Really pretty, the way the light's hitting that, coming through. So nice. So nice. This is beautiful. And so is this. These are brooches. They were both quite lovely. And again, they need to be cleaned. Uh, this is a beautiful pair of Weiss earrings. I want to say those were Weiss. Yeah. With the AB stones. Cute. These are Weiss also. These are unsigned beauties, and they are fabulous. These are Sarah Coventry. Good ones, beauties. These are phenomenal. Oh, I've got to say there's a more than likely uranium glass. Um, I didn't test them. But, probably so. Pretty fabulous. Uh, this is pretty awesome too. This is Har. Amazing little birdie. He's a cutie by Har. Uh, this is uh, red glass and it's Japan made in Japan there was earrings to this I think this used to be mine because I remember it <laughs> and I want to say there's uh, a pair of earrings that goes with this actually I know there are and maybe I still have those um, anyways uh, these are two amazing clips and Oh, she gave me a really awesome idea. So if you had a round collar, you could actually attach these on either side of the shirt and pin the shirt to the bra, and you can make a square collar by just adding those. You could make a square collar out of a swooped thing, yeah, by just pulling it and clipping it there. So then you'd create, I thought that was a fabulous idea. Thank you, Kim. Um, I also got this great little sterling, uh, almost shadow box type. It's not really. It's just got a really deep setting around that stone. It's very tall. Cute little ear or ring. And then this beauty here is absolutely stunning. And oh my gosh, I didn't bring my loop out here to tell you what this says. It says, oh, it says Barrera for Avon. 
I think it says Barrera. Um, and this is a necklace. And these are the amazing earrings, clip-ons that go with it. Uh, and they're worn like this. That's beautiful. Pinks and purples. So pretty. And I don't know if that lighting is too much, but anyhow, those were the goodies that I got from Kim. Here, let me, let me just spread these out so I can get a nice photo at the end. Let me get rid of that. I also got this from Kim, and I thought it was awesome just the way it is. She placed them all in there a certain way. She said there was a hundred and hundred and something little dice and I love them and when I picked it up I liked the way everything was just sitting just like that and I am actually going to put this in my she shed it's going to go somewhere in there and I'm going to hang it on the wall just like that with all the dice with all the colors I love it thank you Kim all right what else did I get yesterday I went shopping and again I went to um, a couple of honey holes. So, let me share some of the amazing finds. I got these awesome earrings. I thought they were just beautiful. I forget what the name of that is. It's not cloisonne. That is called something else. Uh, cloisonne would have the enamel all the way through the whole thing. This is this is a different technique, and it's called something else. Um, I got this, which was attached to. I unattached it so I could get it out of there. But this is how I purchased this little B right here, which is pretty awesome. Uh oh. Come on, stringy dingy. All right. And this is by Joan Rivers. Beautiful brooch. Green eyes. I don't know if you're getting that. I can't tell with this lighting because it's awfully bright. This is beautiful, and it is by Joan Rivers, and it's perfect for summer, and it's so nicely done. But wait, there wasn't one, there was two. Um, and this one is black and gold. Um, again, Joan Rivers. Really nice. What else did I get there? Ooh. I got this. This is also by Joan Rivers. Here comes the train. Uh, this is also Joan Rivers. Big, huge, beautiful, colorful brooch. So pretty. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. I don't think the sun is doing this all justice. I think the sun is a little too bright. I'm not sure. You guys will have to tell me in the comment section. Let me know. Um, and what else did I get? I got this amazing, <laughs> I love how they do this little stringy dingy thing there. Um, there's another B by Joan Rivers. I love this one. I think it's awesome. This was a really nice find. Uh, this is Catherine Popesco beautiful necklace by Catherine Popesco. Very pretty. Sweet, dainty thing. I loved it. 
Then I got this one. This is Robert Lee Morris Studios, and this is sterling silver, and these are brass discs, and it is awesome. It's got to hang right. I can tell two of these are flipped over there. Otherwise, it looks silly. Okay. It's so cute. Oh, my alarm's going off that um, they're doing something at the Gem and Mineral Society and they need volunteers. So I'm probably going to go down there because I don't have a whole bunch going on today. I should be working in my she shed, but it's going to be 91 degrees today. It's going to be 99. So that's awesome. Robert Lee Morris, sterling silver and brass discs. Um, I am, uh, yeah, it, it's going to be 99 by Friday and then, um, yeah, forget it. I, and then it drops back into the seventies on Monday. So on Monday, I'm going to focus on the she shed. I mean, I'm, I'm going to hang some doors this weekend. Um, if Chuck can still come over, these are awesome. Sterling silver made in Italy. I ramble a lot when I'm uh, showing choice. <laughs> My apologies. Um, I didn't see a mark on this, but I have a suspicion that it is sterling silver. Um, I don't know, and maybe I'm wrong. Okay, I need to turn this alarm off. Stop it. I just thought it was really beautifully done. Very pretty. I've sold one of these before and they had one there and uh, yeah, I wasn't going to leave it behind because it's fantastic. I did pay up for this, uh, but rightfully so. Uh, it's by Nolan Miller and it is absolutely stunning. Love this brooch. And so did a few people when I had brought it. Um, and so it was really nice to find another. I'll take it. And then I found this lovely, which is also Joan Rivers, and it's a great bracelet that would go very nicely with this necklace. Same color. Beautiful. With a really neat toggle clasp here. Joan Rivers. Then I found this uh, Nolan Miller bow brooch. Fabulous brooch. Nolan Miller. And then these earrings are, take that off. These are by Christian Dior. And they even had a mark Christian Dior. Beautiful flip on earrings by Christian Dior. Thank you, a thrift store. And thank you even more um, when I found this on a mannequin in the store. <laughs> And I was like, wow, that's a very nice, nicely done. So I picked it up and I could tell the construction was really nice. I couldn't find a mark. It's marked on the inside of the clasp here. And I don't think they saw it, but this is Christian Dior. And it is a fabulous collar necklace. Look at that. I was super excited. It's a high-end thrift store. It's on the north end of town. Oh, I just gave up all my secrets, didn't I? North end of town, that's where um, all of the wealthier people in town live. Unless uh, they're farmers and live out in the country, boom, dog. And a lot of them got a lot of money too. What else did I get? Oh my gosh, then I went to um, one of my other favorite little honey holes and I got this. 
Um, I just bought some crafting bags. I did. Oh my gosh, what's that? That one kind of looks like gold. I don't know. I haven't gone through these yet. Um, that'll be another video, but uh, this bag was $4, so I wasn't going to leave it. Uh, this bag was $6, and there's a lot of sparkles in here. I, I found some little pieces of gold in here. Um, so I will go through these when, uh, you know, my next video, I guess. Uh, this one was $4, and... It's just got, you know, what I might do, I might make it a crafting video and whatever is in these bags, I'm going to craft. I'm going to do one project with just using these items and see what I can come up with. Maybe I'll do that. Um, but there is a couple of nice brooches in here. Like this is Coro right here. Um, that's a nice Coro brooch in this bag. And uh, there's a nice clip here these were things that were marked in the store this bag was five dollars so I'll, I'll go through them and uh, yeah, I'll go through them with you guys maybe on my next video and that one was four dollars and yeah so we'll see what's in there uh, but also from that location I got these items here Very cute little brooch. Vintage. Love the colors. This one is pretty amazing. It does need to be cleaned, I can see, but it's beautiful. Bear! Hush! Uh, this one is quite lovely, too. And not signed but very beautiful this one is BSK AB stones very pretty and I liked this guy I thought he was super cute <laughs> I love this little bow He's adorable. And then I did get a couple of nice silver things there. Um, let me get this price tag off of here. This one, I don't think it wasn't uh, it wasn't in the sterling case, but I'm like a hundred percent sure that that's sterling. It's not marked anywhere, but, oh yeah, it is. I see it right there. It says 925 Mexico. <laughs> Anyways, it's nice. Um, and then I found these amber earrings. They are sterling silver and amber, and they're just beautiful. I love the little scents setting. It's kind of cute. It almost looks like a fence. Not really, but you get it. You know what I mean. <laughs> Do you? I don't know. I'm sorry. My hands are so rough. But it's just the name of the game. And I got this because it was really beautiful. It needs a sterling chain, but it's, I thought it was so pretty. Sterling and stones. That looks like labradorite, and I don't know what that is, if it's anything. And this one here was pretty fantastic, too. This is 14 karat gold and sterling silver. And it says so 14 karat 925. And I don't know what the other mark is there. Uh, and it also needs a little sterling chain or a gold chain, either or. Super pretty. And that was my haul. You guys let me know what your favorite item was in the whole lot um, in the comment section. Make sure you hit that like. 
And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. It's always free. You guys have a beautiful and blessed day, and I'll see you again real soon. Peace.